finely shaped. Anytime I get on set, because I've been trying to be an actor, I try. I'm saying like bad thing. Yeah, just like, I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. And I, I can be clean. I, mean, <laughs> I shower every once in a while. You can start rolling, so. I am rolling. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, yeah, we got it. We have the scruffy in there. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, I'm uh, live at uh, Comic Con. Oh, Super Con. Galaxy Con. Uh, Galaxy Con. <laughs> now, I was. Yeah, I was <laughs> She's hiding now. She's embarrassed. <laughs> All right, so I'm standing with this awesome comedian. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna mangle your name because uh, try it. Just try it. It's Lisa Correo. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Funny girl. Now I have a question though. When it comes to doing stand up, yeah. uh, what was it like first time you're going up on stage? I almost had a heart attack the first time going up on stage for like the whole week leading up to it. It okay. was just panic inducing. It felt like my heart was going to stop. It was so much adrenaline that my body could not handle. Wow. And then once I got up there and I told a joke and people laughed, I really relaxed and, quite and a bit. Has the stage ever been like, you're like, uh, I gotta think of something because nobody's laughing yet? Is that the beginning stage? That is every single time I get on stage. <laughs> I'm laughing right now, though. I, Does that count? It's it's hard every time, and I'm a forgetful person, so I forget my jokes all the time. No. Things I've written and created and said multiple times, <laughs> I still manage to forget somehow. <laughs> and you kind of just have to roll with it. Yeah, absolutely. So, now, real quick, uh, how do you come up with your material? Um, you know, I I meditate in the desert, and it just comes yes. with me. <laughs> no, I just, I don't know, it's just stuff I make fun of. Okay, fair it's enough. It's just everyday things, and I make little notes on my phone, like, I'm going to make fun of that later. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, we're going to switch so gears magic. here. We're going to switch gears, because okay. I already mangled the beginning of this interview. And uh, let's do something fun. There's no... Mary, 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 Oh no, he's coming. Pause for a station identification. Don't cut this out. Okay? I'm waiting for people to like. No, no, do it. Great. All right. People are too all nice right. here. Okay. So, all right. So, we're going to switch gears because, you know, we already talked about all the serious stuff. So, uh, there's no right answer, no wrong answer. It's just all about having fun, okay? You ready? Off the top of your head. Okay. Okay. Uh, how would you describe the color yellow to a white person? And then they scream. <laughs> Wait, how, if they're blind, how can they see the sun though? You can feel it. <laughs> you can feel is, You can feel the sun. <laughs> in the sun you can feel it on your skin. So I'd be like, you know how you feel that yeah. warm feeling? Mm -hmm. That's what that's what yellow is like. Okay. Also your Okay, alright, so <laughs> you go on stage, do you ever have intros to like music wise? Okay. I, can't help. I think she's mad. <laughs> and, and trust me, anytime someone asks to pass salt and pepper, pepper, I'm like salt and pepper. This here. Yes. That's, that's this is what older white ladies do. Guys. All right. So that brings me to the question: If you could choose one song that would play every time you walked into a room your entire life, what would that one song be? Mm. 
okay. as he's stabbing me with scissors. This is going to be like a weird, like, okay, scissors, I'm a pizza delivery woman. I mean, I can tell you what Brian will holler at. Wait a second. Okay. Don't tell me what he said yet. <laughs> right. First of all, I can get him to stop, to be honest with you, <laughs> which is fine. Oh, man. I mean, stabbing is the only way I can do this. <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to go a different way, but I'm like, how would I use scissors for anything other than stabbing Lisa someone? Lisa Correll is a keeper. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I mean, it's like self-defense. What did Brian say? Uh, he said, you never know when you're going to have to cut something for them. They might say, hey, do you have a pair of scissors? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm not doing that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. I, mean, I already know you're not going to tip me anything. What if it's for an extra tip? For an extra tip, yes. <laughs> so after, after uh, Raleigh, GalaxyCon is all over with, where can we find you in, in, a, in a comedy club? You know, it's funny, I take one show at a time, so I'm like, where am I tomorrow? I don't know. Um, I'm also going to be playing uh, Dragon Con next. Okay, very good. Cool. Uh, in Atlanta. Um, I do. I, I have all that stuff. Of course, it's just my name. It's spelled like that. And then you can find me on social media. Right here? Right here? That's Oreo. it. Oreo! Okay. And they spelled it right this time. <laughs> That's nice. right. Yeah. I, uh, real quick, before I let you go, first of all, I want to thank you for humoring me. No, thank you, Scruffy. Yes, and Scruffy is my new name. On air, um, I'm either uh, Brody, Sean Stephen, CK, which I adore, CK. I used to be many names. It's too many. Yeah. And then, uh, or producers are I've done it all on radio, so I guess that just goes up here. But uh, I definitely want to thank you. I'm so glad I met you. You've been entertaining and uh, a very cool person. Yeah. 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 Andrew's all mine, and I like your cameraman too. Yeah, he's all right. He's adopted, but <laughs> Okay, we didn't have to go that far. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much.